Greetings from the Eccentric Man, and today is a little unboxing. I popped into uh, our local game store, Lost Ark Games in Stevenage, and uh, he'd put an order in for me, which was uh, with Zvezda, and uh, I've picked up some 15mm stuff. This is for our tank wars that we've been doing in 15mm. It's been great fun. So I thought I'd do a war in France army. So this is my Germans, and uh, this is the start of it. I've got a couple of little bits more that I've got to get. Uh, I've got two Panzer Jaeger 1s coming, but they're from Flames of War. So they've been ordered. So what I've got at the moment is I've got three of the uh, 38Ts, two of the Panzer 2s, a Panzer 3. It'll probably be uh, the E to F variant rather than G, but nobody will know at that scale. And then two trucks. I've got some infantry from Forged in Battle, which my friend John from Strong Oak had. He's passed them over to me. So this is the basis of the uh, the army. It's uh, two tank platoons. So let's have a look at what we've got in the box. In the sprue, well, one sprue. Tracks come in one piece. Turret and hull, lower hull, all in one piece. Reasonable detail on the turret. And on the top of the body, got your tools on it, tracks and wheels, which look good, turret with the auto cannon and the machine gun. Yeah, and on the back, it gives you the very basic, simple instructions of how to put it together. Yeah, so that's the uh, Panzer, Panzer II. So the Panzer III, again, one sprue. Detail, quite nice detail on the on the upper upper part of the hull. Looks like it comes in three bits: lower hull, second part of the uh, the hull, turret, tracks. Just so we'll go on. It, they all should be pu push fit, and the ones that I've made in the past have have all been. So yeah, that's uh, that's a Panzer three. Comes with instructions for putting together and on the back box as well. So yeah, Panzer three. So next up the Opal Blitz truck again. Picture of the truck. The uh, instructions for putting it together is a bit more involved on this one. Uh, bits of wheels and suspension and chassis. But again, very nice cast. These are very nice moulds. Very little flash on them at all. See so a 15 mil plastic kit, very little flash. In fact, almost none, which is quite amazing, isn't it? Really, when you think about it. Underside, yeah, a little bit of flash there. <laughs> he says, but that's about the only bit that I've seen, and it's underneath, and it will just pick off with not much trouble. But yeah, bits of the individual suspension, sides of the truck doors. Got the windows there and the bonnet. Yeah, you've got the opal sign on it. Look at the white, look at the tyres and the wheels. Yeah. Very nice. So that's a truck, that's gonna be fun to put together. So Last up, the Panzer 38T, and there you have it. No instructions on this, just on the back of the box, because there aren't very many pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, yep, that's going to go to go over quite quickly. So we've got some rivets on the top. No rivets on the side, perhaps we can paint them in. But no mind, we've still got the rivets on the top to show. Top of the tank comes in a couple of bits. Yep, so that's not bad for detail. The road wheels and the tracks. Yeah, all one piece, they're really good. Yep, so I've got three of those, because that's my that's my sort of tank platoon. So yeah. Excellent. Look forward to putting these together. 
I'll, uh, I'll do a video, I'll do a little extra add onto the video uh, with the tanks and the trucks all made. Oh, there is one more. Hang on. Of course, no army would be complete without the 222 from this period. So I've got one of those, and uh, this is interesting, it came in two plastic bags and there are two sprues. And a set of instructions. So there are much more to do in this one. Yep, more to this kit than meets the eye. So let's have a look and see what the plastics are like. Once again, once again, as I said, really nice castings. Or mouldings, I should say, really, shouldn't I? Really nice. For a 15mm plastic kit, it's pretty good. I mean, you got you can see the springs on it on there. Yep, that's going to be a little bit more uh, tricky to put together, but looking good. So, uh, when we come back, I'll uh, have them assembled. Oh, a little bit out of focus there. Yep. So we'll put them together. So that's it. All the vehicles have been put together. Uh, just as I say, I'm waiting on the Panzer Jaeger ones to uh, arrive. So, what were they like putting together? Um, well, the Panzer 38Ts were absolutely easy. The Panzer IIs were even easier. Panzer III went together very well. Trucks. Yep, they went together okay, a bit more fiddly. Which leaves us a 222. There are a few fiddly bits on it, but not too bad overall. So, thumbs up from me. The um, the quality is really good. The, the mould mold lines, you can't see them. Very, very little. Uh, once they're painted up, um, there's going to be nothing to see really. Uh, no flash around the edges, so pretty good. So I'll uh, I'll put them up. Uh, I'll go and paint them. They're going to be painted for the France war, war in France. So it uh, should be dark grey, um, highlighted with a, a lighter grey. I've asked my friend who's going to salute tomorrow to have a hunt out for some 15 mil decals for them. So uh, we'll see what he can find. So yep, keep peeled. I shall uh, paint them up. I might. I don't know whether I'll put up the video now or wait till I've painted them. Uh, it'll be a surprise. You'll have to wait and see. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed these. Uh, it's going to be quite fun doing 15mm tank war. John, I think, is going to do French. So, um, 1940 French. We'll see what we can do with that. So, thanks very much. Well, I decided I'd uh, paint them up and put that onto the unboxing and build. So, went ahead and uh, I decided I couldn't be bothered to get the uh, airbrush out. So, uh, I did it with my paint brushes. So, first up was an undercoat of Vallejo Air Panzer Grey. So, I had to do two light coats of that, because it's, it's fairly thin. Obviously, it needs to be to go through the airbrush. So, I used that as my base coat. So, uh, that was my first up, using the... Vallejo Panzer Grey. So as you can sort of see it uh, dried out and dried up quite nicely. Um, pretty smooth. So next step up was to give them uh, the first bits. And I, I was undecided initially between block painting them or just dry brushing them. So uh, I went to Twitter uh, and put up that uh, I was undecided on which route to take and uh, Neil Shook from the Meeples and Miniatures podcast uh, recommended that I go with um, dry brushing so I did so the first up was uh, the German grey Vallejo German grey which is quite a dark grey so I gave them a 
uh, dry brush with that. I then mixed in some neutral grey, dry brushed again. Then I mixed in a bit more neutral grey, dry brushed again. I then used the uh, Nuln oil from GW to give them a little bit of darker uh, in the recess, shading in the recess, and then went back over it with a dry brush of, yep, the German grey and the neutral grey. So lighting it, lightening it up each time. Uh, canvas is the colour for the truck roofs. So uh, then I thought, okay, uh, what am I going to do? I gave it, uh, as I said, a, a light brushing of the light brush, dry brush of the pans, the German grey and the neutral grey. Put them on bases. Um, did the windscreens. That was a neutral grey and then the null null very careful and then I used a light grey to do the little markings to make it look like it's got windows. The bases are from Plastic Soldier. Uh, I thought I'd put them on then just to be able to use them a bit more easily. Uh, used the Vallejo basing material uh, earth colour to, uh, to go on the bases. And I also put up uh, put on it another light dry brushing of the light grey but just very light grey uh, and then uh, I used uh, Iraqi sand to do the dry brushing of the base and then I've used uh, scenic flock two colours a dark green and a bright green to do the basing uh, Canvas I did with um, null oil over the top and then I lightened it down with Iraqi sand and then dry brushed uh, over it. So, and this is how it's come out. So I was very pleased with the, uh, the final result. Uh, it's come up really nice. Next step is to get the decals. Uh, my friend John couldn't get any at Salute. So I've got to have a look online. Uh, I think... Plastic Soldier do some, uh, Flames of War certainly do some, so uh, I'll be looking to get the decals from them. Uh, somebody suggested, I think it's Adam, who's a subscriber, has uh, suggested using the red lettering on them. So I'll have to have a look and see the decals, uh, whether they do a, a set of red numbers, because that, that would look quite nice, uh, red letters and red numbers. Uh, and the German cross markings. I think they'd come out very nice. So, uh, just got the Panzer Jaeger 2, uh, Panzer Jaeger 1 still to come through in the post. Uh, and once I get those, I know, know what I'm doing with them now because of, uh, of finishing this army. So, that'll be good. Uh, John, I know, has uh, picked up his French army from Salute. He's, uh, he's got some Charby 1s coming in the post because they didn't have those ones they'd sold out on the day so he's got those coming along and uh, that'll be interesting because he's also got a couple of artillery pieces of uh, why wouldn't you if you're the French you'd probably take your uh, free artillery choice so yep yeah, that's uh, running up on those and um, don't know how long it'll take John to paint them up he's pretty quick pretty good because he is uh, a professional uh, commission painter uh, if you haven't already seen it, check out his YouTube channel, Strong Oak Painting. I'll put a link below uh, and you can have a look at uh, what it is. I got these uh, figures, these models from my local game store, Lost Ark Games in Stevenage. And I'll, I'll stick a link to them below as well. The flock <laughs> I got from Luke's app. Uh, you probably have uh, have seen him if you're a, a gamer. If not, check him out. Uh, Luke's apps, his channel, YouTube channel. He does a lot of terrain building, uh, and he tries to make it as cheap as possible, but using good stuff. So he has produced his own range of flocks, and I uh, jumped in on his pre-order and got a set. So yesterday I was busy sifting through um, the flock because it, it comes in. 
it comes in one bag and you get the fine flock and you get the medium flock and uh, you have to sieve it to separate it which is uh, which is fun uh, and I think it worked out quite well so yeah have a look at Luke's apps uh, I'll probably put a link to his um, YouTube channel as well so lots of links going in on, on the the one below so um, yeah if you haven't considered 15 mil bolt action try it because it is quite good fun and pretty cheap if you go the 15 mil root plastic uh, this one cost me around about 35 40 pound uh, all told with all the vehicles so that's not bad really is it for a bit of fun uh, we mates you can choose a theater get the vehicles and you're done uh, and that's what we did here uh, we probably wouldn't do it in 28 mil because um, of the armies that we've got and what we've already committed to but 15 mil yeah worth a punt and um, fairly cheap also on the plus side I've now got some 15 mil tanks to play what a tanker which uh, it was quite fun uh, I haven't played it late war yet uh, those those tanks look pretty tough the lots of strike dice but the earlier war uh, you're looking at strike dice four defense four three uh, yeah not pretty evenly balanced I reckon so we'll uh, we'll give what a tanker a go on um, on 15 mil as well I reckon anyway enough ramblings uh, I've got another battle report coming up, which I played with uh, my friend Colin. He's he's back in the uh, circuit. He's been uh, pretty busy. His, his son's got married, so he, they've been sorting out the wedding and everything like that. So he's back in uh, back in the bolt action groove, as we say, and he's sorting out his army for our upcoming tournament, Shrapnel, which is in May. So I've uh, I'm running it as a TO. Uh, I've already chosen my army. I thought that was only fair to do. Uh, I'm not doing the Italians because I've uh, adjusted the Italian rules for anyone else who takes them. So uh, they can use their national rules in each of the games. So that's that. I've, I've gone for something else. I've gone for, uh, if you've seen what I've been doing and listening, I'm going for the British Para, British Regular Army, Primsole Bridge, 1943. It's based on that. Uh, and uh, the next video up will be a battle report of Colin's French and my British. So keep watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends if they think they might like it. Uh, and until the next time, take care.